This is Bloom, and this is my neighborhood. I get up about six, no, five o'clock every morning. Hop on the train, two trains and a bus, and then um, school. Sometimes late, and then I have to stay all day for varsity practice, which starts at 5:30. It's over about eight o'clock. Then I'm back on the train, get home about 10. And I don't do any homework. <laughs> Why don't you do any homework? Because I'm too tired because the system has failed me. Well, these shoes are the Kobe Bryant's, you know, Carpe Diem, Seize the Day. That's my motto. That's where I live by. I'm seized every day. And so why do you wear four pairs of socks? Uh, when I was younger, I was in seventh grade, my parents only could afford one shoe a year. So I wore four pairs of socks to make them feel good once they got worn down. That's how I do it. Remember where I come from. I go to John Hope College Prep. That school is turned out now because they let, they they used to it used to be like a, a very smart school, but now they they turned it out because they they just started letting everybody in, and it brought the whole school down. My neighborhood real rough. Every day it's a fight. Somebody somebody getting hurt all the time, and I just want to move. Great from the city. What's your commute to school like? Come to school, it's it's alright. It's it ain't too rough. It's, it's okay, because I know everybody. I've been living around my house for about like 12 years now, so I know everybody. It's, it's an okay environment for me now. I'm used, to, I'm used to everything. Are there gangs? Yeah. GDs and Stones. Did they ever try to get you to join? Uh-uh. They just stay away from the athletes? Just they, 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 know, they know my mama don't play that. So everybody respect my mama. They call her Mother Teresa. What's going on in your school? Yes. Just today, two girls was fighting. One got their butt whooped. I mean, she uh, ran up, got stole, right up. and that was the end of it. It was terrible. If you saw the day, y'all know she got beat up because her whole ass swole. What about the metal detectors? Did they do anything for you? No. What's the difference between the suburbs and the Chicago public schools? Money, funding. Suburbs get anything they want. They have the money. It's public league or uh, public Chicago public just not enough funding. Uh, you know, school funding comes from property tax, and you know su suburban districts they have all their property tax going into one school. Uh, Chicago public's got pro Chicago property taxes divided up on, into divided up into you know 30, 40 schools. So funding, I'd say, is the biggest issue. It's like. I mean, are the kids any different? No, kids are kids. Uh, it's peaceful now, but when the sun goes down, it's a whole different story.